Hello everyone, my name is Jasmine Clark and I'm an evangelist for the Developer Relations team. I'm excited to present this training series for the Carbon Black Cloud APIs, so let's get started. This series includes an introduction to REST APIs, calling Carbon Black Cloud APIs using curl requests and Postman, API error handling and troubleshooting, and using the Carbon Black Cloud SDK. This lesson is the second in the series and it introduces curl and teaches us how to get alerts from Carbon Black Cloud using curl requests. Curl is a command line tool which allows us to create HTTP requests and receive responses from the command line or a shell script. It is available for Linux, Mac, and Windows systems and provides a simple method for calling REST APIs. By using the curl command syntax, we can construct commands to call various APIs with different parameters. Here is a list of common curl commands. In the option column, we see two different options for each command. These are both acceptable, but most people choose to use the shorthand versions on the left. You will recognize many of these commands from the components of HTTP requests we discussed in the previous video. Most of our API documentation focuses on a few specific commands, so let's review those in more detail. The D, or data command, sends the specified data in a POST request to the HTTP server, which is the same as the request body in an HTTP request. The H, or header command, specifies an extra HTTP header in the request, such as authentication credentials. The X, or request command, specifies the request method to use when communicating with the HTTP server, such as GET, POST, PUT, or DELETE. Git is the default method and will be used if the request command is not provided. These commands are used to generate each component of an HTTP request to send to the server. Let's take a look at an example from the Carbon Black Cloud Live Response documentation. In the Live Response documentation, instructions are outlined for calling the API with both HTTP and curl requests. By viewing them side by side, we can gain a greater understanding of what happens behind the scenes when a curl request is made. The first element of the curl request is the endpoint of the API we want to call. This aligns with the request section in the HTTP request. Next, we have the X, or request command, which provides the method type we want to use. In this case, it is a POST method, and we can see that POST is also included in the request section of the HTTP request. Next, we have two H, or header commands, which provide the authentication token and the content type. These can be found in the request headers section of the HTTP request. Lastly, we have the D, or data command, which provides the device ID of the device from which we want to obtain data. This is the same as the request body from the HTTP request. No matter which method we choose to call the API, the server receives the same information and returns the same API response in the response body. Now let's use what we've learned to retrieve alerts from the Carbon Black Cloud Alerts API. We can create curl requests using the command line or the terminal. The first part of the curl request will be the endpoint for the API we want to call. This information can be found in the API documentation. Next, we need the request command to indicate that this is a POST method. The documentation will also tell you the method type to use. Next, we need to send our headers, which include the authentication token and the content type. The authentication token is the API key and API ID we created in the previous video. Lastly, we need the data command to send the request body. For Carbon Black Cloud alerts, we can use the request body to filter and sort the results. I am using the rows property to only return one row for readability. As you'll notice, this last line doesn't have a backslash at the end. The backslash lets the terminal know there's another element to the request on the next line so that it will not try to send a partial request. Since we have completed our request, we don't need a backslash here. When we hit the Enter key, the Alerts API will be called and the results will be displayed in the response body. Now that we have a better understanding of curl and we know how to use curl requests to call our APIs, we can explore other methods of calling APIs. Our next lesson in the series will be calling an API through Postman. Thank you for your time today and I hope this information has been beneficial. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.